As promised, today we are going to work on finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So we learned about 2 by 2 matrices yesterday, and that was relatively straightforward, and I warned you that 3 by 3 was going to be a little more confusing. It's the same basic concept. You're going to use diagonals. But what you'll quickly realize is that there's a lot of extra numbers in here that probably need to come into play. So we can't just do this minus this. That won't work. So there's a couple different ways to multiply 3 by 3 determinants, but this is the way that I like to do it. You copy your first column and your second column again behind your matrix. So I'm just going to take that first column, copy it down, second column, copy it down. Then you're going to go back to doing the same thing that we were doing yesterday. You're going to start in the upper left hand corner and you're going to do the diagonal. So the diagonal starting at A is going to include E and I. So this is our first diagonal. And you're going to multiply those together. So A times E times I. But we're not done with diagonals. We still have some more. So we're going to use the next diagonal B, F, and G and we're going to multiply those together. And we're going to add that on to the first one. So we've got B times F times G. And then last but not least, we do this last diagonal, C, D, and H. And we multiply those together. We're going to add all three of those diagonals together and put them in a big parenthesis. Then just like we did with 2 by 2 matrices, we're going to subtract the diagonals going the other way. So we're going to start in the bottom left corner and do our diagonals again. And we're going to put those in another big parenthesis. So we're going to have GEC plus HFA plus IDB. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, what about these two numbers out here? No, they're not in the diagonals per se. But we've used them because, remember, those two columns were repeated. So I know that looks messy and confusing, but once we do it with some numbers, it's not nearly as bad as it looks. Okay, so here's an example for you. We have a 3x3 three three matrix. Again, remember, you can only do the determinant if you have a square matrix. So this is square because it has three rows and three columns. So, negative 1, 3, 5, 2, negative 4, 6, 0, 1, negative 1. So again, we copy the first column again, and we copy the second column again. And then we start circling our diagonals. So we start in the upper left-hand corner. This is my first diagonal. This is my second diagonal. This is my third diagonal. So I have negative 1 times negative 4 times negative 1. So that's negative 4. Negative 1 times 4 is positive 4 times another negative 1 is negative 4. 3 times 6 times 0. Oh, I love zeros because that automatically means it's 0. 5 times 2 times 1 is 10. So there's our first parenthesis. Then we always subtract, just like we do with 2 by 2s. And we go from the bottom left corner. So here's my first diagonal. Oh, there's my magic zero again. Yay, go me. All right, second diagonal. 1 times 6 times negative 1. So that's 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And then negative 1 times 2 times 3 and that would also be negative 6. And again, if it's really messing with your head, wait, Mrs. Kidd, over here you did pluses, over here you did minuses. If it makes you feel better to write that as plus negative 6, that's okay, right? We're still just adding them together. Okay, negative 4 plus 10 is 6, minus negative 6 and negative 6 is negative 12. So 6 minus negative 12. You've got to be careful not to lose that guy. 6 minus negative 12 
is a positive 18. So the determinant of this matrix is 18. Okay, let's do another one. So here's another matrix. And again, you could use it as it's given to you as matrix A, negative 3, 2, negative 1, 2, 5, 2, negative, or I'm sorry, positive 1, negative 2, 0. And they could ask you for the determinant of matrix A. All right, so again, copy the first column, copy the second column, and then start doing our diagonals. So our first parenthesis starts in the upper left-hand corner. There's my magic zero, yay. All right, because at right, anything times zero is zero. So as soon as one of those numbers is zero, you know it's a zero. All right, second diagonal, two times two times one. That's four, not five. Don't let your brain get the better of you. All right. And our third diagonal, negative one times two times negative two. That's negative two times negative two, which is positive four. Subtracting, make our second parenthesis, and we're going backwards this time. Ooh, that's getting messy. One times five times negative one is negative five. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. There's my magic zero. Woohoo! All right. 4 plus 4 is 8. Negative 5 plus 12 is 7. So 8 minus 7 is positive 1. The determinant of this matrix is positive 1.